Now concept cars are just crazy and outlandish. Just by looking at some of them, you know that these aren't gonna make it into production. Sorry little buddy, but you're heading to the chopping block. Here are my favorite six concept cars from the past recent years that actually made it into production. Now I was inspired to make this video from the recent Acura Integra backlash. You know when a company releases a snippet, people make their own renditions of that little concept snippet, and the company actually releases a production car that looks like their concept rendition. And people on the internet get mad when the production car doesn't look like all these custom concept sketches. And eh, let's just ignore that. I'll be honest, I stumbled upon these first two while looking for a Jaguar X-Car. Yes, I like paint. Yes, I like oil leaks. But to be honest, I just wanted to look like one of those old English blokes with the monocle and top hat while I drive this thing. That's what they wear, right? Scratch that, scratch that. Anyways, we're starting off with the Jaguar CXF. Now, if you're like, hey man, that's not a concept car, that's just the 2020 XF that I have sitting in my driveway. Well, technically you're correct. And honestly, Jaguar, you gotta get better with your concept name. C probably stands for concept and XF is just the name of the model. In the world where we have the BMW Gina and the Buick Y-Job, they could have been crazy with their names. But instead, Maz is getting mad at them because they're taking up all their actual lineup car names from them. Curse you, Jaguar! Now, let's Let's go back a bit when this concept was released back in 07. At this time, Jaguar was owned by Ford and not shortly after, transitioned into Tata ownership. No, we're not talking about those Tatas. Now during the time when Honda was coming out with this, Toyota was coming out with this, and your Ford lineup looked like this, this concept actually looked pretty sleek to whatever was on the road. And I think it was pretty sleek as well. I mean, Jaguar's probably still taking stylistic clues from this concept to the 2020 model that's out there on the road to this day. Now speaking of Tata, next one up is the Jaguar CX-16 concept. Once again, Jaguar has to get better with their concept names because Maz is coming after them for taking their actual car lineup name. Now the CX-16 concept is pretty much as close to an actual production car that you're gonna see. I mean, with all the crazy concepts and futuristic designs that companies are coming out with, Jaguar could have been crazy with this thing, with this concept, and just came out with whatever they wanted. You know, they could have went with like giant chrome wheels that look like they belong in a Husqvarna chain on the chainsaw some giant exhaust tips wide stand supercar look wait Jaguar already kind of made a concept like that scratch that Anyways, the reason why I love the CX-16 concept is because it's pretty much the actual production car. Jaguar managed to save it from the penny pinchers back at accounting. Didn't really change anything aside from the wheels and probably some interior bits. Imagine that you see this concept back at a car show. You're like, dang, this thing looks sweet. Uh, but Jaguar is not going to release it. It's going to be a concept and they're going to change everything. And then boom, two years later, they actually released a dang production car that looks like the concept. You know, hats off to Jaguar. Next up, we have a controversial little fella by the name of the Toyota FT1, AKA the Next Gen Supra, AKA the A90 Supra. Now let's take a look at this concept. Did you guys really think that Toyota was actually gonna release a production car that looked like this? Now I know this video is about concept cars and you're gonna be like, hey man, this thing didn't actually make it out into production. It looks a lot different. Well, I'm gonna disagree with you guys because look, it still has that white stance. It kind of has a little beak, kind of has that presence and the looks are definitely futuristic still especially when you see it out on the road today and honestly for Toyota to actually come out with something like this huge props to them Toyota is known for being safe and conservative but with the help of BMW they knocked it out of the park now next up we have the Lamborghini Urus concept and a company not known for being conservative and that is Lamborghini they make concept cars that look like this and this and man they look like they could take your ankles clean right off now here we have the Lamborghini Urus concept and I just want to take a moment to zoom into the side mirrors real quick because look how tiny they are. I think it's just like a flat paper line. I mean, it looks like this Urus is basically a T-Rex, you know, bloated T-Rex with little T-Rex arms with these side mirrors. <laughs> Anyways, besides that, the Lamborghini Urus concept at the time was definitely controversial. People were like, that's not a true Lamborghini. Why would you pay this much for an SUV? It's not going to beat the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, so why make it? And it went on and on and on for like five years until, boom, they actually released the production model. Now, let's take a look at the production and concept model. If you guessed that the right one was the concept well, you're wrong. I mean, the production model looks more like a concept than the concept looks like a concept. Oh, jeez. You know, they added more flair to it. I think they really tightened up the design, dropped it lower a little bit, and really they gave it that on-street production concept type of look that they always go with. Now, I like the years, and I think the pundits now agree many, many years later. Next one up is an Acura, and no, it's not the Acura Integra. It's the Acura NSX concept. Although, wouldn't it be pretty sweet if Acura came out with this actual looking production car just a couple weeks? ago. 
Let's be honest, car people say they want one thing but end up having to make sacrifices and buy this thing. Anyways, back in 2012-2013 when Acura hinted of the NSX, it looked like this. And then just a couple years later, the production car was released. Like some of the other cars on this list, nothing really changed except for the wheels. So you pretty much got a production car that looked like a concept car. The NSX stayed true to the concept design. I'm so glad they didn't really go with that Acura beak. I mean, it still has that little beak, but it's, it's not that bad. Now it's been a couple years now the NSX has a refresh and I think really this one has gone under the radar for a pretty long time. It's definitely one of the cars that's underappreciated in car culture. I've only seen one in person and it looks pretty cool. Definitely a big difference from the Lambos and Ferraris that we see every day. Now speaking of underappreciated cars, can you guess what the next concept is? If you guess the BMW i3, you're kind of correct because we're talking about the BMW i8 concept. If you didn't know, the BMW i3 and the BMW i8 came out at the same time with the same kind of concept look. One was definitely your family oriented, cheaper, affordable option, and one was obviously a sports car option, higher end model. Now anyways, BMW came out with three i8 concepts and just looking at that last one is completely bonkers. Now BMW, in an effort to reimagine the modern sports car, they came out with the BMW i8 concept, which had a three cylinder turbocharged engine matched with a 98 kilowatt hybrid motor. They basically created the sports car for the future, although a little bit earlier than everyone else. And it was definitely affordable compared to all the other production car hybrid sports cars that were out there at this time. I mean, when you compare it to the Porsche 918 Spyder or the McLaren P1, this was definitely costing you less. Now the i8 wasn't gonna blow the doors off of everything like those two, but you gotta admit it punches above its weight and it's got the supercar looks to match. Now those were the six concept cars that actually made it into production. If I missed any, leave a comment down below. My favorite for sure was the Lamborghini Urus from this list because it looks like an actual concept and it looks even better than its concept. If you like how the Lamborghini Urus looks, let me know and check out some of these other playlists up here.